Hello, have you ever compared that the images created by others are incredibly appealing, with beautiful colors, not unlike photographs, and moreover, they are very artistic? Is it true that the images you create with AI look really bad, with awkward errors, distorted faces, and overall discomfort? Right? Do you want to know one of the reasons why you might be struggling with stable diffusion and still unable to create a satisfactory product? In this video, I will show you a crucial tip the most important thing for any image or video or animation to be created successfully relies on it. If you don't know how to use it, that nightmare will continue to persist, and that is checking the checkpoint, the model that you or someone else created. I believe that you are either new to using SD I abbreviate for stable diffusion, or if you've been using SD for a while, you often come across descriptions of the checkpoint in the uploads of that model. They usually mention the CFG with a certain index, the number of steps required, how many SAM, so how do they know this? And what is the purpose of it? First and foremost, the performance of a model depends on the following factors. Is the training model diverse in prompts? Was it trained with high or low quality images? Is it fine-tuned well to make the output look ugly or aesthetically pleasing? Which version does the model belong to? Etc. And all of those, no matter who the creator of that model is, need to be verified to see how well it truly performs within a certain scope. The scope I'm referring to here includes metrics like CFG, clip skip, step, sample, scheduler, and accompanying parameters. However, I will assume that you have downloaded many checkpoints and may have forgotten in which scope each one performs well. Instead of having to test each one individually, I will now guide you on how to do it quickly and accurately. So from here on, you only need to rely on the tested metrics and generate images or videos without having to test repeatedly. First, you need to use nodes in the efficiency set. In this set of nodes, there are numerous nodes to experiment with, with X being the images listed along the X axis. The input count is the number of columns generated. Y represents the images listed along the Y axis. In here the first step is to specify the starting point of the step range, and the last step is where the step will end. We will take that range and divide it into images. The total number of images along the axis is calculated with the batch count. So, how do you check to find the best range? First, you just need to take a slightly larger range, then choose within that range for example, in the image, identify the best corresponding range. Step 9 in CFG 3.0 After selecting the range, we narrow it down within that chosen range to continue finding the parameters that yield the best results. After obtaining the results, you should make a note of them and start experimenting with other nodes and prompts to test based on them. In the next video, I will guide you on how to create an image with a product for selling on various online shopping platforms. If you find my video helpful, please like, share, and comment below. Thank you, and see you in the next videos.